there you have it guys Oklahoma pass with a landslide. Let's check out the video. News 9's Aaron Brill back with reaction. Celebrate. Aaron? Yeah, that celebration is probably going to be going on all night long. Back here behind me is the watch party for Vote Yes on 788. We expect them to be celebrating for quite a few more hours to come. Then tomorrow, the real hard work comes, the work as far as implementing 788. The, uh, the organizers of 788, the people who crafted the, uh, the legislation, have been talking with legislators and with the Department of Health. So a lot of those details have been worked out already, but they're also going to have to work out some other details, some of the more devil-in-the-detail type of details. Uh, they'll be doing that in the next couple days backers say it should take about 150 days to fully implement it because they say there are other states that have already implemented it we can borrow some of their legislation Colorado for example well they took up to two years to implement their program well, why was that because they were the pioneers so they were the ones really trying to figure it out getting all that laid out well, we've already had we already have this we don't need to reinvent the wheel now, the State Department of Health is being a little bit more enthusiastic about it. They say they believe they'll start putting out applications for uh, medical marijuana licenses as early as late August. We're live on the scene on the story in northwest Oklahoma City. Aaron Brolbeck, News 9. So, 57 to, what was it again? 40, let's go back here. 57 to 43. That's a big blowout. That's a landslide. Um, that's a mandate. That's a you know a basic statement of wh whoever uh, was against this. You're a minority, and you're the kind of minority that normally people don't really care about your feelings. Um, but there's some people that have some feelings about this, including the governor, Miss uh, Governor Fallon. So I guess the fight is not over in Oklahoma because I've seen medical marijuana programs get basically um, neutered to the point where they effectively wasn't even a protection for people that got caught with medical marijuana or got caught with marijuana and try to use medical marijuana. We're talking about New Jersey specifically under Chris Christie's rule. And even in Michigan, Michigan's medical marijuana law was <clears throat> regulation free, pretty much just what was written in the two page law for about 10 years almost well eight years and then they finally wrote some regulations and the regulations were basically a corporate takeover and they're still in the process two years later trying to you know ooze licenses out for legal uh medical marijuana dispensaries and other businesses so that program still ain't even up off the ground yet and you know this is 10 years after they passed the law so in New Jersey, same thing. And we have Maryland. Uh, we could say a lot about how their medical marijuana program has been idle since it passed years ago, back in 2014, I believe. So time and time again, we've seen where the law has passed. There has been a mandate, but we get people that are fighting it and trying to throw things, throw wrenches in the machine of it. They just don't like marijuana. And they're working for special interest groups. We know that too, but... Aside from that, they just don't like marijuana. And Mary Fallon is one of them. And so was Scott Pruitt when he was the attorney general that through a procedural like snafu made it so this didn't get on the ballot in 2016. So just his little action, after the they gathered enough signatures and it was already on the ballot, he changed the title next thing or the description of the title, next thing you know it it's not on the ballot because it has to go through procedure that would put it up in the future past the election to when the, um, when it would be ready. So basically nullified it for the 2016 election. They took it to the Supreme court in Oklahoma and they won against Scott Pruitt and they had this special election. And now you see it's a landslide 57 to 43. It passed. I was hoping for a bigger landslide, but a landslide's a landslide. We'll take what we can get. Let's go ahead and read this piece uh, by Leanne Manwarren from news, news9.com. So medical marijuana will be illegal in the state of Oklahoma. Voters have passed state question 788. The measure was hotly de a hotly debated issue and was a factor in driving up voter turnout during the primary election. That part, I can tell you on both of those, on the first thing about this being hotly debated, please... The only people that debated this is a bunch of blowhard cops and a bunch of blowhard, you know, 
people that are in the uh, drug treatment business or people that are in the pharmaceutical business. Um, we've seen the guy that spent all the money on it and he, he didn't have any talking points that we haven't already like seen get smashed on the ground a million times. It's just a joke. Anytime these people like, you know, Ken, Patrick Kennedy, when he was on Tucker, that was just a joke. Those talking points are so d- just asinine. I can't think of a better word for it. Just like repugnant. We can't even stand hearing them anymore. It's like you, no one cares about what you're talking about. No one cares that you don't like marijuana. No one cares that you don't think it's medicine. No one cares that this, no one cares that that. And no one uh, cares about your bullshit about driving while stoned or that a bunch of new teenagers are going to start using weed because you got medical marijuana legalized. We don't care about any of those talking points. And then, well, let's just go ahead and read and we'll see what, what we run into. <clears throat> It'll make it legal to grow, sell, and use marijuana for medical purposes, medicinal purposes. The proposal doesn't list any qualifying medical conditions allowing doctors to prescribe it for a wide range of ailments. And believe me, if, they, if they're going to try to change anything, that's going to be the first thing they go for. And the growing and basically tightening up the regulations on the selling to try to basically squish it like they're doing in Michigan. It's almost impossible to get a license. And if you do, I'm telling you right now that your business is not very, it's not a very profitable business model already. (laughs) Um, Law enforcement, business, political, and faith leaders launched a late half million dollar campaign to defeat it. Now, I got another thing about these faith leaders. They're always butting their head in on this particular political issue, among others. There's a few other issues that they love, but this one's one of their favorites. I've seen the Catholic Church spend almost a million dollars opposing medical mar- or uh, legalizing recreational marijuana in Massachusetts. You know, like the guy from Discount Tire is a highly religious person. He spent a million dollars to try to defeat marijuana in Arizona. Or was it Florida medical marijuana? I don't, this guy spent a million dollars. I think it was in Arizona. It might have been Nevada. It might have been spread out. Um, and then you also have Sheldon Adelson, who is also very apparently very religious. He's a Jewish billionaire that runs casinos and shit. So I don't know what his stake is in the religious thing, but I've heard him use the same talking points as religious people use. So I kind of connect him to that. Relig- you know, when the religious people come, um, their talking points are kind of like the same watered down crap we hear about everything, but they apply it to medical marijuana and you know, they act like medicine, you know, has to be in an orange bottle and you're supposed to only take the amount that the doctor told you take, you know, all this stuff. It's like, okay, cool. But that's just not how this works. So, and if you uh, really believe your Bible or whatever, your book of choices for your holy bullshit, look at it. It tells you that you use these herbs that, on this plant the, the God gave them to you. You're supposed to use them. How is religion against marijuana? I don't understand that. You'll have to walk me through it. If someone knows, and please describe it to me in the description in a comment down below. Um, so Dr. Kevin Taubman of the SQ 788 is not medical coalition <laughs> released the following statement after it was declared that the state question 788 pass. Now, when your name is an oxymoron, basically anything else that you got to say, I'm just going to think is complete garbage. So we are obviously disappointed by the outcome as we believe 788 is simply too broadly written to be considered a legitimate medical marijuana program. However, we respect the will of the voters and our member groups look forward to working with the legislator and the health department to advance common sense regulations that benefit patients with protecting businesses and communities. And like I said, when you, when you hear them say that, then what they're talking about is completely neutering this thing. (laughs) Protecting businesses might be so that they can try to make it. So their friends over at, we just got CBD approved, but only we can make it. And, um, sell it to people for a hundred thousand dollars a year. So that's their friends. That's who this isn't medical marijuana. That's who their friends are. So a state question 78 advocacy group, uh, said they received numerous reports of trickery at the polling sites where voters are not given a second ballot with the state question on it, unless they ask for it. That is just unbelievable and it's illegal. 
So I would love to get some video of that or whatever. So if anybody has anything like that on the down low, like get get to me somehow and get me that, I would love to expose that on a, whatever scale I'm, I'm able to do. Due to the vague language, a special session is expected to be called in the near future so legislation can define the regulations for the new law. And believe me, they're going to try to do some shady shit. I know they are. I, I guarantee it. And I usually don't make videos about regulation packages that are designed for, you know, medical marijuana laws that get passed. Once in a while I will, like when Arkansas priced pretty much rich people out of the game. I mean, Michigan followed that blueprint, but that was a story. But when Michigan did it, not so much of a story anymore. But I still there was still more to it and I covered it, but you know, in essence, it would be a lot of, I would make a lot more videos if I was covering it every time a, a state made a regulation or approved some condition on a list or added it to their list. This is great because so far we don't have a list and that'll probably be one of the first things they try to do. So look forward to that. And we're talking about Governor Mary Fallon. And she will announce the date for the special session. Quote, please do not visit the state or county health department offices with questions relating to medical marijuana. And that's funny that you say that because, uh, and that's the health department interim that's saying that. Because they seem to be the people that are the friendliest to this, the, to the voters' will and, uh, you know, to the concept of medical marijuana and being able to work with something new. You know, that's what health departments are. They're, they're welcoming to things that are going to be beneficial to health. Um, we are still working with limited staff who can deliver clinical and other services across the state. The State Health Department Interim Commission, Tom Bates, after the results were announced, quote, all relevant information and instructions will be provided online. Fallon released the following statement after the real <coughs> results were announced. Quote, I respect the will of the voters and any question placed before them to determine the direction of our state. It is our responsibility as state leaders to look out for the health and safety of Oklahoma citizens. Hmm. Already sounds like I think the side that she's on is purely the throw the wrench in the machine side. But that's just my opinion. And just at the beginning of this. So we'll see how it pans out. Expect more videos about this in the future, though, because I've been following this since the uh, petition drive churned in enough signatures and got it approved for the ballot. And I followed it ever since then. You know, every every step of the way, I've been following every headline that came out of this. Um, you can go back to my videos all the way back to the beginning. Some of the first videos I made were about this. So as I mentioned in previous public comments, this is Mary Fallon again, governor. Quote, I believe as well as many Oklahomans that this new law is written so loosely that it opens the door for basically recreational marijuana. I will be discussing the legislative leaders and state agencies, our options going forward on how to best proceed a lot, uh, with adding a medical and proper regulatory framework to make sure marijuana use is truly for valid medical illnesses. So I'm thinking they're going to go after smoking um, marijuana, which right-wing states hate when you smoke marijuana. That's like the absolute thing they hate the most. And then smokable bud and growing. Um, these are the top three things that people that have that talking point that she just threw out there. That's what they usually go after. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm happy that all this is happening because this is a this is a deep red state, Oklahoma. Are you kidding? They just passed uh, the probably the best medical marijuana program this country has, and even with the attempt at the regulations that they're going to try to throw on this, you know, it remains to be seen um, whether those regulations actually pass how much of a, of a majority they need to pass certain regulations that might alter the law itself uh, compared to how it was written on the ballot proposal, which I believe was a four-page document. And I might read that someday and just see what I can pull out of it and tell you how they might adjust it. And we'll, we'll just wait and see what they do. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Congratulations, Oklahoma, for passing um, a great medical marijuana program and i can't wait to see it get up and running and now i can officially cross oklahoma off the list of states i can never visit <laughs> and so can alexis bortel who is originally from oklahoma or she lived there before i'm not sure if she's from there but i remember she mentioned that she was uh she had lived there at one time so uh maybe someday she'll actually be able to travel from state to state 
that remains to be seen. We'll give you updates on that as we find out <clears throat> um, more. And that's all I got. 57 to 43. Have a good night.